What's up guys, RJ here. Uh, I'm gonna kinda do a behind the scenes. I know y'all probably getting tired looking at my ugly face. Um, gonna do a quick video and show you my pickups for this weekend. And I got a couple more videos I wanna make. I got some stuff I wanna talk about, some stuff that's kinda fell in my lap. Um, but uh, my baby girl's still doing good, so just wanna show y'all that. Um, I had a freaking awesome weekend, guys. I mean, I don't know what's going on i mean i just you know like i said i hadn't been doing this long but i i don't know what it is i guess it's just uh luck finally after my injury and after everything's going on i guess the clouds are finally parting for me a little bit but i've had some awesome finds but uh i need some help with a lot of this stuff so leave your comments and let me know uh beautiful day out today in georgia um after all the weather it's been terrible but now it's beautiful but uh, let's get started, and uh, you guys leave comments, let me know. More comments, I enjoy reading them, guys. This is what, you know, keeps me going. So uh, let me hear your comments, let me know what's going on. If this video's a little shaky, I apologize. Uh, but uh, I'll get excited a little bit too, because I found some awesome stuff this weekend. Um, and I uh, just want to try this, see how this worked a little bit. All right, starting out here. One of the first things I found was a, uh, uh, it's a 1970-something baseball playbook by Ron Polk. This has got um, every situation that you could get into on a baseball field and every answer to getting out of that situation. Awesome book. I mean, I might just keep it. I don't know because I coach baseball and help some. But some of my big finds I got really excited about. First yard sale I went to Friday morning. It's a Kawasaki uh, um, service and repair and maintenance manual. But it's a dealership book. Uh, it's not one that you can get out in public. I mean, you know, buy anywhere. Um, but the next three things I'm going to show you is what really got my blood racing. A Harley-Davidson official factory manual. The thick one. You know, it's the real thick one. This is for the 99 um, Dyna Super Glide. And the Dyna Low Rider. And the Wide Glide. But this is tells you everything about the bike and how to fix everything on it. Very nice piece. Uh, same yard sale. I got the uh, service manual for the 98 FTL. I mean, FLT models. Um, you know, these are the dealership manuals, guys. Official factory manuals. And um, then I got the 2000 FLT models, the factory manual. Um, I got all four of these books right here for $10, guys. He was asking $10 a piece for them. Um, and, you know, I told him what I could pay, and that was all I could pay, and he thought about it, and he let me have them, you know. Got a bug crawling on it. Ugh, get out of there. But those are awesome finds, you know. Even, you know, I don't know what they'll go for, but I know they go for a pretty good bit. Um, so, those were uh, great pickups. I was really, really tickled to death. Also, this glass, and I am just brought one of them out. This is a Harley Davidson, I don't know if you can see it, and I'm trying to, it's a 105 year Harley Davidson uh, official sponsor with Harley Davidson on one side and Miller Lite on the other side. And it's got the V-twin motor um, emblem, brand new. I bought a case of these, 24 of them, brand new in the box for $10, uh, cool piece. Uh, I got two, I got a Keith Brookin and a Michael Vick official Falcons uh, bobbleheads um, I got a hey, I'm gonna have to rest though because I don't want to make it as long as hard to load them a uh, 1993 coca-cola emblems I mean a uh, ornament still in the box a little crushed um, Snoopy and dog uh, Woodstock playing cards from the 60s I got a very nice stain like a stained glass coca-cola sign or a mirror light thing whatever you want to call it I got another one, um, paid 50 cents a piece for these two uh, pieces guys, 50 cents for that one, 50 cents for this one, awesome deals. Um, the uh, belt buckle is a Mason belt buckle, uh, I think that's what it is, I got it for a dollar. Um, I picked up these two Cobra uh, walkie talkie things like when you're traveling. The Micro Talks, a really nice set. Uh, got them for $3, guys. And they work. Them put batteries in them, tried them, they work. 
this was a really unique piece this is a heavy kind of like a stained glass chessboard and this is the pieces to it very unique I've never saw anything like it um, you know different colors um, wild piece I saw it got it for a dollar guys it's set for a dollar is awesome um, next finds uh, y'all know I love knives uh, and I need some help with these um, this is a General Stonewall Jackson um, and it's got CS I'm not sure if that's Confederate soldiers or what but this is like an antler handle a uh, really nice knife beautiful knife um, stainless steel uh, got this end up getting it for two dollars I offered him two dollars and he took it um, another great find I had was a sword this sword is really unique this has got the string tied around this is wood or bamboo um, he was asking ten I got it for five um, it's got the uh, wood I mean the uh, rope handle of the grip really nice it's got some markings on the um, looks like S's on the set uh, blade I'm not really sure what this is I don't know anything about this guys uh, I'm still trying to figure some of this stuff out let me know if you know anything about that knife that's a really cool piece I think um, another really good knife I found it's an Arkansas pick knife with a leather sheath still in the box it's high carbon steel uh, pretty much brand new uh, Pakistani stainless steel uh, beautiful knife uh, really nice woodwork um, got the sheath uh, the box is old got some wear you know but really nice knife let me know um, a Minnesota Timberwolves pillow got it for 50 cents I got a Barbie's jet a little dirty needs to be cleaned up with the Barbie pilot wow don't know nothing about these but I know Barbie stuff's expensive also got the Barbie van uh, or bus whatever you want to call it and these have got all the little pieces on the inside I don't know how to get them open I can't get it out anyway y'all know what I'm talking about but uh I got both these pieces together for six dollars uh, really cool anyway let me know about them I don't know nothing about them a really cool tea set or coffee set whatever this is like a blue metallic uh, silver a blue pot I don't know nothing about them they don't have any name on them really cool pieces let me know if you know anything about those guys I gave uh, three dollars for that set I just thought it was cool I'll keep them if they ain't worth nothing I got probably two dozen golf balls brand new top flight golf balls this was a really cool find I had Batman stuff all these little Batman figures and then every one of these bags guys has got the Batman with all the parts that go to that certain Batman and there is just I mean there's probably 20 of them 15 to 20 all together all different Batmans and little baggies each one's got all their tools and stuff or accessories that go with them I know nothing about Batman stuff I know it's worth something I uh, got all those this big Batman uh, three of the Batman vehicles two of them with men in them for uh, seven dollars and she was asking five a piece on just the vehicles ended up getting all those men and everything for seven dollars I don't know yes yeah, crazy I don't know I wouldn't have sold it this is a really cool piece I don't know this is amazing here um, 1997 Saban's Power Ranger in space the Astro Megazord this thing is brand new it's still got the white plastic thing that it's in it's never been taken out um, I got it for 50 cents guys I didn't even try to talk her down on it um, the box has got a little wear the man has never been taken out and I still got the tape across him on the packet um, but it's awesome uh, let me know anything about this I know it's worth a little bit but I don't know what an old mailbox for the front of the house I love those things anyway this thing here is a it says dresser valve and instrument division from Stratford Connecticut uh, it's 
got all these little precision tools in it. Um, and then a box that's got a little, um, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's like a punch or what. I can't find a whole lot of information on this specific piece. I got this for $2. Let me know if you know anything. Also got a Webster's Dictionary, uh, second edition, the new 20th century unabridged second edition. Uh, this thing is huge. The pages are a little yellow stained on the outside, but really nice. I think the date on it, oh yeah, Not, well, I don't know if you can see that, 1955. Really cool piece right there. Um, had a really good weekend, had a lot of fun. I got some more stuff too, I got some marbles and stuff, and uh, somebody let me know how to tell if it's a vintage marble or what, because I found about probably 400 marbles, and the guy said they were old, he's had them since he was young. Uh, let me know, but one other thing I want to show you that I got, and this is going to be mine, this is not going to be sold. Um, I found a Fisher audio component system the MC712 with the huge speakers um, he was asking 20 I got it for 10 uh, bought like 15 records for from the 80's for uh, 50 cents a piece uh, this has got CDs and cassettes and anybody if y'all been watching my videos you know I found about 800 cassettes a couple of weeks ago and I don't know if I ever made a video or not anyway but uh Another thing that I got was the, uh, it's a Mark 8 stereo RCA Victor solid state 8-track uh, player. Really good condition, it works. Um, but this stereo is going to stay here because I bought records and I got CDs and, I mean, uh, cassettes that I want to listen to. Uh, so I'm going to end up moving this around and putting it up and hanging my speakers up. So anyway, but, uh, like I said, got a lot of stuff this weekend. Let me know if you know anything about them, guys. Um, I'm going to get off here. This video is going to be long. going to take forever to load. But uh, let me know some information. And uh, anybody that ordered shirts are coming out tomorrow. So it should be here by the middle of the week. Thanks, guys.